matchup for Sunday Night Football here in Week 4, Bills and the Ravens. I'm going to let you know the public side and also how to play the over-under in this game and make some money. That's coming up free in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your primetime Sunday night matchup on NBC. Bills at Ravens, definitely one of the better matchups we'll have this year on Sunday night football. Let's get right to the public sentiment in this game. Ding, ding, red flag alert. Public dog here. The public is back in the Buffalo Bills. Now, they're just a two and a half point dog, so I don't want to say this is a huge public dog because, once again, uh, they're barely getting points here. But a lot of the uh, consensus indicators I look at, public likes the Bills to win this game straight up. And it's not a surprise because, as we know, they looked fantastic last week on Monday Night Football National TV, just destroying the Jags, scoring five touchdowns on five drives to start things off. So not a surprise that they're a public underdog this week. But I'm going to shift over to the over-under for this video, and I think that's the way to attack this game for a profit, and that's with the over, over 46.5. First of all, a nice number here at 46.5. 47, 48, both key numbers. So at 46.5 or less, I do like the over in this game for some line value. And we have two very capable passing offenses as well. Uh, let's talk about Buffalo first. I mentioned that destruction of the Jags. They put up 47 points themselves last week. They went over this total on their own last Monday night in that 47-10 win. Of course, they put up 65 points against Arizona and Miami the first couple weeks. Uh, defense has looked strong. 10 points allowed the last two games. But the offense has been explosive. And they can do a good chunk of getting to the over here on their own. But I also think Buffalo might give up some points here, taking a step up in class against a better offensive opponent here in the Baltimore Ravens. Although they're limited on the O-line this year, they've been doing a lot of quick passing plays. They're still averaging over 7.5 yards per pass. But more importantly, they're running for over 200 yards a game, almost 6 yards per rush. And the Bills' run defense has been very mediocre this year, giving up 4.7 yards per carry. Uh, that's been the Buffalo weakness. So Baltimore's strength, the running game, against the weaker part of the Bills' defense. And meanwhile, that strong Buffalo pass attack uh, should have plenty of success against a suspect Baltimore pass defense. In fact, the Ravens' run defense has been great. 50 yards allowed, 2.8 yards per carry. But the passing offense, or defense rather, has given up just under 300 yards a game and 7.5 yards per pass against teams that average just 6.7. Bills are averaging 8.6. So once again, it's strength versus strength with both offenses against the weaker part of both defenses. Let's not overthink it. Bills, Ravens, over 46.5 points for Sunday Night Football, 820 Eastern on NBC. Hey, I touched upon the Bills being a public dog. If you like public indicators, public sentiment like that, you definitely want to check out my Fade the Public video each and every week here on Wager Talk TV. Click the bell. When you subscribe, click that bell for an instant alert so you never miss it each and every weekend here on this channel. Also, thumbs up, like. If you're liking these free play videos, thumbs up, like is always appreciated. And comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. How are you attacking this Sunday night football game? Side, total, player props. Hey, include some player props. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. If you like my personal best bets for this weekend, not for just college and pro football, but the baseball playoffs about to start, NBA is less than a month away. By the way, the last three years, nobody's won more units of profit in the NBA than I have. I was number one in college hoops a couple years ago. This year, baseball's on a current 31-12 and run, and that includes three extra inning losses over the past week and still on a 31-12 and run. That's how good baseball's been this year. And, oh, what about football? Well, 14... I'm sorry, 10 and 4 the last 14 plays over the last two weeks, and it's not a surprise that we're hitting over 70% because last two years coming in, nobody had won more ATS units of profit in college and pro football combined. I do quite well with all five sports that I handicap. I've done this for 29 years as a full-time professional. If I have a play, my clients get it as well. So yes, an all sports, all access is the way to go to not only make sure you get every best bet every day, but also to get your cost of entry down, your investment costs down. And this weekend, we're taking it a step further. You buy three months, you're getting a fourth month for free. That offer expires after Sunday night, so don't delay. This is your last chance to buy a 90-day package and get another 30 days included for free. That's three months bought, four months get. That's not very good grammar, but you get the point. You buy 90 day, you get 120 days total. That's a $299 free value added on. No promo code needed, but that offer expires this weekend. Check it out right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And also, if you want a longer term package, the one year all access promo code is still available. That gets it down to just $3 a day, just a dollar a play for the next 365 days and nights. That promo code is SM365. Don't have to memorize this. The full details of the specials, the promo codes, along with a daily free play, 
on all my best and my best bets as well. Or it's on my homepage right now. Check out that bonus free play each and every day with analysis. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media on X, on Instagram, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.